Hello, and welcome back to another Poolside Chat presented by EnioPools.com. I'm Rob. And I am Matthew. And the question goes as such. I just bought a pool cleaner and I no longer need my booster pump. How do I remove it? Rob? Well, uh, typically you'd only use a booster pump if you have a pressure side pool cleaner. So if you're no longer using pressure side pool cleaner, it's time to get rid of the booster pump. But instead of uh, just sitting here listening to us yip yap back and forth, why don't I just uh, show you how to do it? All right, guys, hope you weren't waiting too long. Let's get started. The reason why this pool owner is getting rid of their uh, booster pump is because they've switched to a robotic cleaner, so they no longer need this. Uh, but it's pretty simple to remove a booster pump. Uh, you have two lines, one going in, one coming out. This is on flexible uh, hose. So what you can do is unthread it here and unthread it up here. And we're going to thread in some plugs. And then the only other step you have to do is disconnect the power at the timer. Now before you do that, you want to make sure all the power is off. So cut it off at the breaker. Um, if for some reason you have uh, rigid PVC plumbing, what you do is you cut the plumbing and then glue a cap on and then disconnect it at the timer. And uh, that's about it. That's all you have to do to remove a Flaris booster pump. All right, how to look, how to go. Uh, no one was paying attention. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like most of our mm -hmm. videos. But if you uh, are still watching, please uh, like and subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions about anything pool and spa, visit us over at annualpools.com. Thank you for joining us. Bye.